Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media. Today we've got a brand new reaction for you guys. It is The Chase EP by Cage, a five track bass house EP from Monster Cat Uncaged. Lots of cages going on and uh, I'm excited for it. The last EP that uh, Cage did on Monster Cat The Grave, I very, very much enjoyed. It was my one of my top EPs of last year. And so I'm intrigued to see what this one is going to be. There was two previous singles already, Numb and Lights Out. I intentionally knew, I knew there was gonna be an EP, so I uh, like didn't listen to it a ton. Uh, I was also really behind on my Monster Cat, so these will be pretty close to my first listens for them. I probably listened maybe once before. So uh, without any further ado, let's just hop into it. Uh, our first track is Right Through uh, by Cage and Azdek. So here we go. I loved Melbourne from Aztec, so let's see if I like this. Tone setter so far. Second drop. Okay, uh, right through with Azdek. Um, interesting song, really interesting song. It is not a style I really particularly thought it was going to be. It still had that classic uh, Cage sound design and production style to it, but it wasn't, uh, it was a little different. It was a little different and I, I liked it. I appreciated it for its uniqueness uh, and its creativity um, in being, I feel like a lot of bass house is fairly same, same, uh, and this is not at all. So I mad props uh, for both Aztec and Cage here on this track. Um, that being said, I don't know if this is a song I would actually go back to a whole ton. It's one of those weird in the middles where it's like, oh, like this sounds cool and this is different and unique and I like the way it is, but like, 
I, I wouldn't listen to it a whole ton. Like it's maybe like one of those like come back to once a month or something like that. And just be like, oh yeah, like that's, it's one of the songs that you have in like your liked or like in a playlist or something like that. And it, and you, you like hear it again and you say to yourself, oh, like, oh yeah, this is actually pretty good. I really enjoy this. But then if you add it to your like songs, then it's, then then you're kind of feeling, oh, maybe it's not as fun. I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm rambling here. Um, I, yeah, I, th I thought it was cool. Uh, I thought it was cool that it might be a little bit of a grower, I think for sure, um, for me. So uh, I did enjoy it though. I, I, I did enjoy it. It's, I really like the different take on Bass House from it. So uh, yeah, let's move into our title track. That being The Chase, um, the longest song of the EP. Here we go. It's vocals of some sort. They cover my tracks. Don't fuck it, I'm cover my tracks. I love that little run. Don't fuck it, I'm cover my tracks. This is the minimalistic bass house. I know cage by. Cover my tracks. Don't fuck it, cover my tracks. I feel like he might go wild on the second one. We'll see though. Don't fuck it, I'm cover my tracks. Chase by Cage. That is, uh, that feels like some classic Cage. Uh, it is, it is right, it is, it is ripe, I should say, it's raw. Um, 
those two words don't go together. It is raw. Uh, it's that same minimalistic bass house that I've come to really enjoy Cage from since listening to the Grave EP. Uh, so, yeah, solid track. Um, it, it feels very at home. Uh, it's one of those. It's one of those. It's the most cagey cage track. It's a it's a cage track. So, I have <laughs> uh, there's it sounds like it would have been it would have fit in really well in the Grave EP where um, right through was a little more different and had uh, a, a bit of a different take on the sound and so it felt like a, a different track. Uh, this one I feel like could have been slotted in nice and well with uh, the, that former EP of his on Monster Cat. So uh, we'll see where the rest of uh, this EP is taken by Cage to see if we're going to hit that kind of same style or if we're going to go back to something like Right Through. Um, I guess it'll be somewhat similar, similaristic, I would say. Uh, so far, though, I think I, I liked, I, I did enjoy the track, but I think I would have preferred some more of this, some of the stuff from The Grave more so than uh, this, than that track, than The Kate, than the Chase. Um, yeah, I, I think it, it, for sounding very similar, similarly to that past EP, which I've repeated a hundred times now, uh, I think I would prefer listening to those older songs uh, than this one, I think, uh, right now. But I would I would have to go back and do a real comparison. But that one does feel like it's one I've heard before, but it's like it's a good thing I've heard before. So uh, didn't feel too strongly about that. Uh, up next, uh, Numb, which did come out as a single, and I know for sure I haven't listened to this yet, so this will be my genuine first reaction. So, uh, here we go. Here's Numb. Make me Kind of spooky, smoky voice. Very different than the non-drop. Feels like a pretty different song. I really like the pluckiness of these hits, these brighter hits. my favorite so far. So let's see where the second drop takes us. He's gone yet.
Okay, num uh, the third middle track of the EP. Uh, my favorite of the EP so far. Uh, like I said during the song, it's the uh, it's the deepest uh, into the, the the soundscape that I've heard Cage go yet. I think, uh, and it's paired really well with the really uh, with the the substantially more the brighter and pluckier kind of synth hits, uh, particularly in the first drop, which they were a little more um, prevalent in the mix in the first drop. They were a little more laid back and actually not in the first whole half of the second drop. But uh, yeah, that one felt like uh, that one felt like he was he was really expanding on his prior like sounds. Like it sounds that one felt a lot more like he it was the grave. He made the grave and then expanded on that project. Now expanded on the idea of what he had produced before uh, and made something that was a more a little more interesting, a little more uh, intriguing one way or another. So uh, I I enjoyed that quite a bit. Uh, that was my favorite. Um, even though it was my favorite by a long shot, I felt like all the songs have been pretty solid so far and they're all fairly close in terms of how I really feel about them all. Um, so. Yeah, not bad. Let's head into our uh, fourth track of the EP, uh, Limit, with uh, Slatten, who I've never heard of before, so, uh, or Slayton, I'm not sure. Here we go. Sounds there. What's Slatin gonna bring to the Slayton? Fun. sounds in it. A, little, a lot less minimalistic. Which I assume I'm attributing to slap. Okay, Limit with Slatin, Slayton, I'm not sure how to say that, but, uh, nice. Uh, that had a lot, that was, that was, 
a lot less minimalistic from Cage, uh, which he's very known for, and I've talked about that quite a bit here. Uh, and I liked it. It was a nice, it was a good switch up to hear his kind of sound uh, paired with a little more electronic-y sounds, a little more digital interference in some capacity, uh, which I can only attribute to Slatten is my guess. Um, who actually knows. Uh, I don't know what his other stuff is, and so maybe that's his style or that's his signature sound. Um, but a great mix-up. Uh, it, it's a it's a really good mix-up in the track list, especially with the first three being so much uh, deeper and darker and this, and this fourth one being a little bit more, uh, a, just slightly brighter, slightly happier. It's a little less, like, as like put your head down and just like run crunchy like just whatever uh it's a little more a little more peppy it's like a, what a, like it's just a, <laughs> i hope that makes sense uh so far ep has been super consistent uh it's been it's been solid i don't think it's better than the grave at this point um but uh some solid consistent tracks i say that now because i have listened to lights out only once before and I gave it a 4 out of 10 was my just first listen kind of thing. So I'm intrigued to see uh, what that's going to be like now. Having listened to the first four songs, um, if it's anything like the other ones, this should be a, another good song. Um, not as low as a 4. Uh, but now I'm intrigued why I gave it a 4 on first listen. So uh, here we go. Uh, Lights Out with Mysteria. Love this part as much. Lights out. Okay, so far, like, not bad. I'm intrigued to see if this second drop is much different. There's a reason I. Because four means, like, I. I'm not neutral in a song, like, I don't like it. I really must have uh, not liked it. I would. I don't know what mood I was in the first time I listened to it, but I don't know why I originally scored it a four out of ten. It's not. It's not. It's not bad. Um, I. I, th I do think it's the weakest of the five songs of the EP. Um, but I, I don't think it's nearly as bad as a, a four. Like that's somewhere like a six or seven. But uh, numbers aside, those are arbitrary. Anyways, they're all really just for me. Um, 
yeah, not 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 bad of a song. It, it did feel a little odd, like the just the the higher pitch, like like just the um. I don't know. It felt weird. It just didn't sit super well with me. Uh, hearing it in the context of the rest of the EP, it makes a lot more sense than I think it did as a single. Uh, but even then, I wasn't too overly impressed with this one. Uh, that felt like a very middle, middle of the road, middle of the line track for me. But uh, in the end, uh, the Chase EP, uh, fairly consistent, fairly consistent. Uh, just some solid bass house here for you. A lot of minute, like it's minimalistic bass house, I think at its best or <laughs> brightest, whatever you want to call it. Um, Cage, Cage did a great job. Uh, I don't think as good as The Grave. I enjoyed The Grave EP significantly more than this one, uh, but still a, a good EP. Nonetheless, um, just goes to prove that, uh, that, uh, Cage knows what he's doing. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's got, uh, some, some good help from what, Azdex, Laden, and Mysteria, uh, this EP. And, uh, I think this is, uh, I think this is a, a solid project that, uh, I, I don't know how often I'll return to it. Uh, but, uh, I definitely, I really did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. So, uh, in the end though, let me know what you guys think. Uh, there's a whole comment section down below that you can share your opinions on this EP as well. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Somewhere in the middle? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. But with that, I've been Bowtie Media and I will see you guys in another video.